Good morning, Sammy. Good morning, Benjamin. Good timing. I don't know about you, but I'm very excited that next week we'll be back in the Dojang instead of here on Zoom. So that's going to be super cool. It's going to be so much easier to run classes when we've got other people and different activities we can do and some equipment we can use. It's going to be great. Who's ready? Me. Yay, awesome. Okay. Feet together. Ready, one, two, three, coming. Take on. Okay, let's start by getting a little bit warmed up. So I'll play tag with you. Remember, if I sweep for your legs, you've got to jump up nice and high. And if I tag, you got to flatten down on the floor so you don't get tagged. Okay, ready? Jogging around, jogging around, just jog around your room. Jog around the room. Jog around. Tag. Flatten on your tummy, that's it. Good stuff. Jog around the room. Jog around the room. Jog, 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 jog. Sweep. Jump up nice and high. Jump nice and high. That's it. Okay, jog you around. Jog, jog, jog. Jog, jog, jog. Tag. 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 Sweep. Good stuff. Sweep. Nice jumping. Sweep. Cool. Jog, 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 jog. Jog, jog, jog. Tag. Oh, that's pretty quick then. Tag. Sweep. I'm going to get faster, so you got to get faster. Ready? Sweep. Sweep. Tag. Tag. Good stuff. Jog, 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 jog. Jog, 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 jog. Tag. Nice. Tag. Where did Benjamin go? There he is. Sweet. And sweet. There we go. And jog, 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 jog. Okay. And stop. Okay. Benjamin, just try and get your belt back on. It's falling off a little bit. We'll pop it to the side. Okay. Now, everybody ready? It's not time for a drinks break yet. Okay. Hands out to the side. Stand on one leg. Stand on one leg, Benjamin. Now bring your hands in. But keep standing on one leg. Lift your leg nice and high. Good, Sammy. Nice. Good. Okay. Other leg, hands out. Lift your leg up nice and high. And bring your arms in. Lift the leg up. Lift it up. Lift the arms. Good. And down. That's good. Okay. Now, next thing, I want you to pop your hand out like this and see whether you can reach up and touch it with your foot. Keep your leg nice and straight, go. Yeah, good. Two. 
three, four. You can lift your hand up a little bit higher if you like. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Let's see the other hand. The song will count in Korean. Ready? Hana. Two. Set. Net. Tasa. Yasa. Ilga. Yaro. Aho. Yo. Yohana. The hand up. You do. Good. Nice work. Awesome. Okay. I'm gonna make it a little bit harder this time. This time, we're gonna turn one of our foot to the side. You know, like we do our yop chagi to the side with our pause facing to the side. We're gonna do the same thing about lifting our leg up. So we're gonna go this way. One. Lift your leg up sideways. Go. Two. Set. Net. Dasa. Good. Both of you. Yasa. Ilga. Yaro. Aho, you, Johanna, you do. Good, let's see the other leg. Ready, Hana, do, set, net, tasa, yasa, elga, yaro, aho, you. Johanna, you do. Good. Now show me your arm soggy. Nice. Arm soggy. Show me our little bounces. Like we're riding a horse. That's it. That's our sine wave. The little bounces like that. Pretty cool. Awesome. Put your hand out. So you're holding the reins of the horse. That's it. And then when we bounce down, we change hands. So we go one. Good. Punch on the way down. Two. And set. And net. Good, Sammy. Das up. Yas up. Ilga. Yaro. Aho. You. Good. Now we'll do a yop, a yop teddy here, side strike. So we're gonna go one out to the side like this. Good, other hand comes back to you. And the other side. Two. Set. Net. Good, awesome. Dasa. Remember that sine wave? Remember the ride of the horse? Yasa. Ilga. Yado. Look at the bad guy. That's it. Aho. You, Johanna, you do. Good. Now we're going to punch the height of our eyes up here. Ready? Hana, do, set, net, dasa, yasa, ilga, yaro, aho, you. Good. Now every time I count, we're going to do two punches like this. We'll do middle punches this time. We're going to go one, two. Ready, go. Hana. One, two. Do. One, two. Just like remember we're riding our horse. So we're going to down, up, down like this. Ready, go. One, two. One, two. You're punching on the way down. One, two. Good. Now just change hands. Change hands. And we'll do it again. Go. One, two. Go. One, two. Go. One, two. A little bit faster. Go. One, two. 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 And now do ten. Go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, and relax. Grab a little drink.
You come down in front of the camera. Now, something we haven't done for a little while in class, because we've been stuck in a home like this, is working on our healthy foods. So just a little bit of a reminder about the things that we get from eating healthy food. Remember, healthy food helps us to grow. Awesome. Yes, Sammy, it helps us to get strong. That's good. It keeps us healthy, and it gives us lots of energy. Okay, remember that? So it helps us to grow, it helps us to get strong, it helps to keep us healthy, and it gives us lots of energy. That's a good stuff for healthy food. So I want you to think about what are your five favorite healthy foods? Your five favorite healthy foods. Sammy, you can turn your mic off and tell me. Broccoli. Broccoli. Uh, carrots. Mm. And meat. Meat. What type of meat? Uh, pork meat. Pork, good, yep. And yeah. beans. Beans. What's your favourite fruit? And my favourite fruit is I don't I don't know. I don't know. Oranges. Oranges. Awesome. How about you, Benjamin? What are your five favourite fruits? Favorite healthy foods. Turn your mic. I'll, I'll unmute your mic so you can tell me. Benjamin, what are your favorite five favorite healthy foods? Apples. Apples, yum. Strawberry. Strawberries, good. Mint. Mints. Yep, good. Peas. Peas. Good one. Carrot. Carrots. That's good. Awesome. That's great. Now remember, guys, that different types of healthy food have different jobs. So it's really important to eat lots of different healthy foods, okay? Not just the same ones all the time. We're going to eat lots of different ones. So that's why in the dinner that mum and dad make you, You've got lots of different foods in it. Even if it's all mixed together, there's lots of different. You've got a little bit of meat, you've got some vegetables, you've got all sorts of yummy stuff in there. Okay, and it's really important. And different vegetables, because like the green vegetables are more about keeping you healthy. And then you've got the white vegetables that are good for giving you energy and things like that, okay? So they've got different jobs. So really important that we eat lots of different types of healthy vegetables. And then treats. Do we have lots of treats or a little bit of treats? A little bit of treats, that's right, because treats aren't necessarily good for us. A little bit of treats is okay, but lots of treats is not good for our body. So we want lots of healthy food and a little bitty bit of treats. Okay, so on that vein, we're going to be up, we're going to be jogging on the spot, and then I'm going to call out the name of a healthy food, and your job is to make the shape of that healthy food with your body. So if I, go bro if I say broccoli, you might go, I'm broccoli. And if I say carrot, you might say, I'm a carrot. Okay, so we're jogging around the spot and I'm gonna say healthy food. When I say healthy food, as fast as you can, you make the shape. Ready, ready. Potato. What shape's a potato? Yeah, cool, maybe like a little bundle, that's good. Awesome, jogging, jog, 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 jog. Cauliflower. Cool, nice cauliflower, guys. Jog, 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 jog. Okay. What about strawberry? Got some big strawberries. What about a little strawberry like this? That's cool. Awesome, guys. Good. Jog, 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 jog. What about kiwi fruit? Yeah, good, good kiwi fruit. Lovely, awesome, nice job, 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 job. Okay. What about peas? What about peas? Peas are pretty tricky, aren't they? Because they're so little. That's cool. Awesome. Good stuff. Job, 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 job. Jogging, jogging. Okay, here's one. Here's one. Pineapple. 
Spiky pineapple, maybe a big pineapple. Yeah, big pineapple like this. Spiky leaves, awesome, cool. Jog, jog, jog. Jog, jog, jog. Okay, now, if I say a healthy food, you make the healthy food shape. If I say a treat food, you just keep jogging. You don't make the shape of the treat food. If a healthy food, you make the shape. Treat foods, no making the shape. Ready, 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 ready. Pumpkin. Yeah, pumpkin's big, isn't it? Big pumpkin, good, good. Jog, 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 jog. Chocolate. That's it, keep jogging. Chocolate's a treat, that's good, 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 good. Okay, how about, how about pork? Oh yeah, pork makes strong, good stuff. Jog, 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 jogging. What about chicken? What about chicken? Chicken, chicken, yeah, good, good, like chicken, good stuff. Okay, ice cream. That's it, we're still jogging. Ice cream's a treat food, that's good stuff, that's good stuff. How about apple? Good, like your apples, that's good. Jog, 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 jog. Banana. Bananas are awesome. Oh, Sam, yeah, both of you, cool bananas. Cool bananas, awesome. Jog, 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 jog. What about uh, Kumara? Kumara's yummy, yeah, Kumara's good. Awesome, jog, 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 jog. Jog, 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 jog. What about chips, potato chips? Yeah, we keep joining you. Oh, you guys are too smart. That's awesome. Okay, grab a drink, guys. Grab a little drink. Okay. Now, little bitty bit of kicking, because kicking is good fun. I see you've got lots of space around you. That's excellent. Because what I want you to do to start with is I want you to put your hands up nice and close to your brain and then you're just going to walk around your room and do some kicks. Any kicks you want, walk around the room, throw your kicks all different directions. We've done some different kicks the last couple of weeks, haven't we? We've got our reverse turning kick, we've got our vertical kicks. So have some fun, just move around, do different sorts of kicks. That's good. Awesome. Got a yop chagi, three chagi, up to the shigi. Good stuff. Remember to breathe. Come on, Benjamin, move around and kick. Good, Sammy, love it. Show me those kicks. Good stuff, Benjamin, that's it. Excellent. Good fun, okay. And come on, okay, stop there. Now, let's learn a different type of kick today that we haven't done yet. We're gonna do what's called downward kick. Yeah, Sammy, we like new kicks, don't we? That's awesome. So at the start of the class, we did what was called a front rising kick. Front rising kick is when we just lift our leg up and down like this. And it's often used to stretch, okay? That's called a front rising kick. A downward kick's kind of like the opposite. What we try and do with a downward kick is we lift our leg up and then we pull it down on top of the bad guy, on top of the target. So I've got to lift it up in a little circle and then pull it straight down. Lift it up in a little circle, pull straight down. Okay, straight down. That's it, Sammy. Come on, Benjamin, you try. Lift your leg up, pull it straight down. Lift your leg up, pull it straight down. Yeah. Want to try and get your leg up nice and high. And then pull straight down. Try and get your leg about the height of your head. That's it. You want to bring it across this way, though, Sammy across your body. Rather than opening up like this, if someone tries to, put, um, to do a downward kick like this, someone can simply go punch, 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 punch. So you're gonna block your punches, so you cover up this way. 
cover up, and then pull down. Cover up, pull down. That's it, Sammy. Lovely, love it. Good, Sammy. Keep your hands up. Guards brain. Good. Now let's go the Nadio Chagi punch, punch. Nadio Chagi punch, punch. Nadio Chagi punch, punch. Where's Benjamin? You want me to cover up, Ben? Uh, cover up, Sammy. Cover up, cover up, cover up. Nadio Chagi punch, punch. Come on, Benjamin. Try this. Nadio Chagi punch, punch. Nadio Chagi, punch, punch. That's it, good. Nadio Chagi, punch, punch. Sammy, remember, not like this. Not like this. Remember, we gotta cover up. This way. That's it, other way. Come across your body. There we go. Okay, keep going. Good. Awesome. Yeah, nice. Okay, if mum or dad have got a cushion for this one, you want to have your cushion a little bit like this. A little bit like this. So you can hit it on the way down. This way. Oh, the, yeah, pad, Mr. Martin. You've got a pad. Pad's good. So you're going to kick it on the way down. You're going to hit it with your heel on the way down. A little bit like this. That way. There. Yes, Benjamin, that's it. Good. Yeah, keep your hands up, guard your brain. Good. Nice. That's it. Good, Sammy. Nice, Benjamin. Now, here's something a little bit tricky for you both. With this kick, technically with this kick, the pad shouldn't be any lower than this. So you're gonna try and lift your kicks up. No lower than your, where your arms bend. No lower than where your arms bend. Yeah, there we go. There we go. You're gonna lift it up nice and high. Good, Sammy, lovely. Guard your brain, guard your brain. Good, Benjamin, very nice. Whoa, love it. This is Nadi Ochai, your downward kick. Make sure you do both of your legs. Try the other leg too. Cool. Nice, Benjamin. So remember, Sammy, you're trying to go straight down, around and straight down, around and straight down. Oh, straight down, Sammy. You're going over the top with that leg. That leg's going over the top this way. You want to go over and straight down. Well, straight down. Oh, yeah, there we go. And come on, relax. Cool. Thanks. Say thanks to mum and dad with a high five. Grab a quick drink. Okay, we'll do some more kicks and punches later. For now, I just want to do a little bit more practice about stop what I don't like it, okay? It's really important to practice here, nice, Sammy. Okay, so, we'll start nice and easy. Just relax, standing normally. Come on, Benjamin, into the camera. Good, okay, so here, from here, one, two, three, stop it, I don't like it, go. Remember to step back. Very good. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Stop it. I don't like it. Sammy, that's excellent. Good. Because we're not leaning back like this. We're stepping back like that. That's good. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Stop it. I don't like it. Awesome. Okay, now next bit. Maybe someone that we're playing with comes up to try and push us, or they push us, we've got our hands up like this, hands up, and when they come to push, we go step back and we do a little block with our arm. 
just a little block like this. Okay, so if someone's coming to push, do a little block and then step back. Stop it, I don't like it. Good. Okay, ready, ready, ready. Block. Stop it, I don't like it. Maybe you can practice with mum or dad. Maybe mum or dad can come and gently give you a little push and you just block the push away with your arm. Notice that I'm moving my body to block the push. Block. Stop it, I don't like it. That's it. Good. Good, nice. Keep going, a couple more times. Now, Sammy, little trick for you, Sammy. Okay, watch for a moment. You're blocking like this, but leaving your body where it is. Watch when I block, I move my body out of the way. I just step with my foot and move my body out of the way. That's it. Like you're stepping around in a little half circle. And then you go, stop it, I don't like it. Yeah, try that. So move the body out of the way. That's excellent, Sammy, lovely. Really good. Good, yeah, that way you're not there to be pushed. That's awesome. Cool. That's it, Benjamin. From Benjamin, remember we want to step back rather than forwards, okay? He's trying to step back. Good. And who can tell me what we do after we've done that and somebody's been mean to us, what do we do next? Come on, Sammy, come on, I'm mute. Oh, I'm mute, Mike. Here we go, you're unmuted. You go and tell whoever's looking after you. Excellent, you go and tell whoever's looking after you. We don't hit back, we don't scream, we don't yell, just our strong voice. Stop it, leave me alone. And then you go and tell the person looking after you. That's excellent, Sammy, good stuff. Okay, back on our feet. Good reminder there, that's good. Okay, now, just before we get back into our kicking and punching, a little reminder for you for this, I want you to leave your microphones off because we don't want to record what you're about to say, but your mum and dad are there to check that you've got it right. So, nice strong voice standing up. I want you to say your full name, I want you to say your telephone number, and I want you to tell me where you live, okay? Nice strong voice, mum and dad are there to check. Go, what's your name? Your whole name. Good, then what's your telephone number? And what's your address? Good. Nice, Sammy. Awesome. Good stuff. Okay, when you've done that, you can practice with mum or dad. Even though it's mum or dad, it's still good practice. I want you to practice, excuse me, I'm lost. Please call my dad or please call my mum. My telephone number is, and say it nice and clearly. Okay, and then mum and dad will say, oh, you're lost. What's your name? And then they'll say, can you tell me that phone number again? And you repeat it, answer the questions, okay? So excuse me, I'm lost. Remember we look, if we get lost, we look for a mum with children, or if we find them a shopkeeper, or a police officer, or an ambulance driver, or someone like that. A mum with children or a shopkeeper are usually easiest to find. And we go up to them and say, excuse me, I'm lost. Please call my mum, my phone number is 021, nice and clear. Then they'll ask you your name, and then they'll ask you your phone number again. So do that now, go. Go Benjamin, go and tell mum you're lost. Go Sammy, go and tell dad you're lost.
Excellent. Good boys, awesome. Okay, let's give mum and dad the, op the opportunity to take out some frustrations on you. Okay, so mum and dad have the cushion, the pad, and you're gonna have your hands up, your hands up, 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 up. Yeah, not dropping those hands. And you're gonna go up, Charlie, punch, punch. Up, Charlie, punch, punch. If you drop your hands down, mum and dad are gonna remind you by giving you a little tap on the head. Okay, so keep those hands up, ready, go. Up, Charlie, punch, punch. Up, Charlie, punch, punch. Up, Charlie, punch, punch. Good. Up, Charlie, punch, punch. Yeah, good. Up, Charlie, punch, punch. Keep those hands up, Benjamin. Keep those hands up, Benjamin. Otherwise, mum will remind you with a little tap on the head. Yeah, there we go. Up, Charlie, punch, punch. That's it. Change legs. Use the other leg now. The other leg. Up, Charlie, punch, punch. 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 Good. Okay, watch this way for a moment. We're going to add to that and make sure you've got good balance after your up, Charlie. So we're going to go up, Charlie, punch, punch. And then mum or dad are going to swing the cushion for our head. We're going to do a little bop. A little bop, punch, punch. Okay? So we're going to go up, Charlie, punch, punch, a little bop, punch, punch. So you've got to keep your hands up and you've got to do your little dot, little bob. Good. And punch, punch again. That's it. That's it. Up, Chagi. Punch, punch. Little duck. Punch, punch. Good. Just a little bitty duck. Only duck as much as your head. Okay. Just the distance of your head. Not right down to the floor. Okay. Come on, Sammy. Now nice and fast. Make sure you've got a good stance. Good stance. Up, Chaggy, punch, punch, little duck, punch, punch. Up, Chaggy, punch, punch, little duck, punch, punch. Okay, pause for a minute. A little tricky bit for mum and dad to notice. We may or may not be ready for this at this stage, but I'll just give you the right tips to start with. You, you might notice that I'm going from here, front hand, back hand. And then after my little bob, I'm doing my backhand front hand. So I'm going right kick, left, right, duck, right, left. Okay? They might not get that at this stage. That's okay, but just be aware of it. Ready? Go! Up, Chaggy. Punch, punch, duck, punch, punch. Up, Chaggy. Punch, punch, duck, punch, punch. Good. Guard your brain. Guard your brain. Good, Sammy. Okay, and come on, next one. Next one, next one, next one. We're gonna build up from this. First up, remember we're side on, so we've got our paws to the cushion, paws to the pad, side on. We're gonna lift up that leg and do a yop chagi. Okay, from here, yop chagi. Try that, yop chagi. Keep your hands up, keep your hands up, keep sideways to the pad, lift up, yop chagi. Yes, Benjamin, that's it, good boy. Good, Sammy, that's it, lovely. Start with your legs a little bit wider and then yop, Chagi. And if you can, you can do a little shift in. You lift and do a little shift. Go yop, Chagi. Yeah, that's it, Sammy. Come on, Benjamin, show me your yop, Chagi. Yop, Chagi. Yop, Chagi. Yeah, beautiful kick. It's a really nice kick. Make sure you do both legs. Try the other leg as well.
Come on, Sammy. Nice, no, slack it off. Yop Chagi, use your leg, get in there, get in there, kick. Go, Yop Chagi. Good. That's it, nice. Good. Okay, grab a mouthful of water. Then we'll get back to our cushion. Get a mouthful of water. Okay, now, let's see how we go with our remembering. We did over the past couple of weeks, two different types of spinning kicks. So I wanna see how you're going with, in fact, I think we've done three. We've done watching, we've done back piercing kick, which is nice and straight. It's not really a spin, it's more of a pivot. We've done reverse turning kick, where I have to lean over this way. And we've done vertical kick, where I don't have to lean over. Vertical kick outwards. Okay, so I want you to do spinning kicks on your cushion because spinning kicks are awesome. When you get dizzy, do the other leg. So, Dad, we have to hold the pad out straight in front of us this way. That's it, pad like that. Awesome, pad like this. So, we spin and kick the pad with Bundle Dollar Chain. This way, Sammy's dead. Not that, rather than this way flat, stick it out this way. So the pad's going this way. That's it. And turn it over the other way. So he's hitting the other side of the pad. No, I mean this way. So it should be facing towards, the flat bit should be facing towards the windows. Flat bit towards the windows. There we go. Now, Sammy, you got it for the right leg. That's it. Nice, Sammy's dead. That's it. You got it. You got it, Benjamin? Yes, yeah, Sammy. Love it. Okay, Benjamin, have some fun with those spinning kicks. Good. Yeah, Sammy. Okay, Benjamin. So just like this, Benjamin. Turn, kick. There we go. Turn towards your back. Spin, kick. Spin, kick. Remember, we've done different types. Okay, now Benjamin, I'm gonna give you a slightly different challenge. Oh, it came off. Okay, so Benjamin, if it doesn't iron back on, you might just need mum or dad to put a couple of stitches into it with a needle and thread, just to keep it in place. Okay, and stop last exercise. Good. Remember you've got two legs, Sammy. I saw one leg lots. Okay, next drill. This time, just for a little bit of fun, mum and dad are going to hold the cushion pretty much any way they want, and I want you to hit it with your taekwondo. So it might be punch punch, you might do yob chagi, you might do spinning kicks, you might do front kicks. It depends on how mum and dad are holding the cushion. So, or the pad. If mum and dad are holding the pad like this, it might be for a front kick. If they lift it up, it might be for punches. If they turn it sideways, it might be for your spinning kicks. Okay, you might do side kick here, and they're gonna move around a little bit, change the angles a bit. So just move around, all sorts of kicks and punches, good. Keep your hands up, make sure you keep those hands up. Otherwise I'll hit you in the head with a virtual noodle. Virtual noodle. Yeah, that's it, Sammy. Good, remember you did dollar chagi, good. I saw your dollar chagi, Benjamin, that's lovely. Turn and kick, good. Yes, Sammy, good. Keep going, punches, kicks, different types of kicks. Remember we've got our Nadio Chaggy that we did today. Don't, don't forget your downward kick that we did today. There we go with the cushion, cook the tag it nice and flat. Yeah, Sammy, then follow it up with your punches. Nadio Chaggy, punch, punch. Yop Chaggy. Oh, the 
Thunderdollar Chinese. Punch, punch. Good stuff. Keep your hands up and keep your stances good. Make sure you've got good stances and tight hands. Keep the guard up, Sammy. Guard your brain, guard your brain. That's it, Sammy. You got it, you got it. Yes. Guard your brain. Good work. Benjamin, get your guard up. Guard that brain. Nice, Benjamin's mom. Wicked. Oh, come on, Benjamin. Keep your eyes on that cushion or it'll hit you. Hey. Focus, focus. Yeah, good. Now we use your kick. Up, Chagi. Yeah, good. Now you're Yop Chagi. Show me your Yop Chagi. Very nice, guys. And come on. Good work. Big high five for mum and dad and a big thank you. Benjamin, where's your thank you for mum and dad? Now you can grab a drink. Okay. And come and sit down. Now have we got our Cubs books? Got our Cubs books handy. So we covered quite a lot today. We have to make sure we do a little bit of our stop, look and listen in class next week because we haven't done that. It's pretty, pretty difficult to do that one when we're on Zoom. But today we did a little bit of our healthy foods, healthy foods from our white stripe and also from our yellow stripe. We did a little bit about our courage and dealing with people who are being mean to us with our stop with our stop it, I don't like it. We did a little bit about keeping safe with our telephone number and address. So we did some really good stuff today as well as some cool kicks and things. That's awesome. So the next job, remember, is to go to the page that you're up to with your home tasks and your stamps. And mum and dad can sign off your class or stamp your class if they've got a stamp. And then they're going to talk to you about what you're doing at home, about your home task, okay? So we've got to think about what we're doing with our home tasks. Good stuff, Sammy. So now mum and dad will have a quick talk to you about what your, how your home task is going. And if they need to, it might be time for a new home task. And I'm very, oh, I'll just be quiet so you can do that. Okay. I'm very excited that next Saturday we'll be back in Churchill Park School, back in our gym. Super cool. I'm going to send an update out that will come out on Monday with some new information because we're really lucky. Fortunately, we don't have so much the size restrictions that we were going to have last week. So I had sent in the email, mums and dads, it would be great if we could have one parent per family so that we can limit our class size. Now that we can have up to 100 people, we don't need to worry about those limits. We will just need to make sure that when we put the chairs out, we've got enough room for our social distancing for parents to sit down with some space. We will, being a, a contact sport as we are generally, we will have a little bit of contact in class. We're, we're a bit unusual that compared to other activities that we don't have to be social distancing for the children doing the activities, but we will be modifying the activities so that we're not touching the floor so much. We don't want to be touching the floor. We don't want to be touching our faces making sure that we're washing hands, guys, when you first arrive, okay? You go into the bathrooms and wash your hands super, super well when you arrive. And then we'll, we'll change the nature of some of our activities. So we might be touching clothes and stuff, but we're not gonna be touching faces. I also encourage you, we'll ask everyone to bring a little training towel so that if you get hot and you need to wipe your face, you use a towel to wipe your face. You don't use your hands and you don't use your sleeves, okay? So all that information is gonna be in the email that will come out. 
just slightly modified from what we had last week. So I will look forward to being back in the Dojo next week. It's going to be awesome. Thank you guys very, very much for supporting our Zoom classes. It's been really cool having you. It's been harder having the variety of exercises in this little space where you can't have so much, so many games and stuff to play together. So I really appreciated having you here. And I think it's going to show when we get back in the dojo because you guys are going to look awesome. And some of the other students are going to be not really knowing what to do because they haven't been there for so long. So thank you very much. I'll see you next week. Standing up. Ready? Feet together. One, two, three. Jump it. Take on. Thank you, guys. Big thank you to mum and dad. A huge thank you to mum and dad. And I'll see you next week. Have a good weekend, guys. Enjoy the long weekend. Thank you very much for this. It's been great. Thank you very much, Sammy's dad. Deliberately not saying family names. Thank you, Benjamin's mom.